I saw my first Naptown Roller Derby bout in 2011. All the women and the strong, empowered skaters, like, oh my gosh, I really would love to learn how to do that. And then I saw the sign that said, do you think you have what it takes? The Naptown Roller Derby is getting the skates rolling again after a two-year pause. The league underwent many changes during its time away from the action. We kept in touch online, talked about next steps, what we're going to do in the future. We have a brand new board of directors. We um, talked about, we just basically kind of gave our league an overhaul. Let's look at some of the systems we have in place and go over all of that now that we're not skating. A lot of our skaters who have skated for, you know, seven, eight, ten years thought, okay, I think I put in enough time. I think I'm ready to just like rest now, you know? So that time was actually a good time for us to kind of um, manage what's happening. We sold our practice space. We now practice uh, here at Circle City's practice space. Circle City Roller Derby and Naptown Roller Derby are members of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. The league is searching for a new venue and is only scheduling away bouts at this time. But it's just trying to find that right space because you have to fit the track, you have to fit uh, 10 feet out for the refs because we have refs who go around and in the middle and everything so okay. yeah it's just finding that space and as soon as we have that space we will be scheduling home bouts for sure. Even though roller derby is said to be more tough than football or rugby, Wilson says the community is everything. Roller derby has been a safe space for a lot of people. Just um, looking to be accepted, looking to, I don't know, find something. It's empowering, it's hard. It is very hard being in contact with other skaters, getting hit all over the place and everything, but it's so rewarding when you're doing it with a bunch of people who just love each other and care for each other. We pick each other up when we need to. So it's just a big family and I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And there's a reason why people skate for years and years and years over the inner injuries and everything. And it's because it's such a great community. For WRTV, I'm Shakira Harris.